This fish trap from Nios is probably one of the best options that I've seen. Fish traps in general have been traditionally a bit of a pain in the tush to use, and most that I've had the opportunity to use over the years have been some sort of box with a trap door that needs to sit inside of the tank, and if a fish enters it, you'd have this string that you need to release in hopes that the door closes correctly and completely traps the fish. And then you're getting elbows deep into the tank to remove the trap and hoping that the fish doesn't accidentally escape in the process. Which has happened to me because I've had traditionally pretty bad luck with trapping fish. Nios, on the other hand, has taken the newer approach to trapping fish into account when designing their fish trap. Instead of a trap door, the entire trap is released from the glass and the globe rotates so the opening faces upward and the air inside of the rim of that opening causes the trap to quickly float to the surface, safely trapping your fish and bringing it to the top of the aquarium where it's easy as pie to retrieve. When you unbox your Nios trap, you're gonna have obviously the trap itself, as well as a pipette for delivering food to the trap, a magnetic algae plate if you wanna clip some algae in there for a herbivorous fish that you're trying to trap, as well as the manual that has a bunch of really good tips in it that we're gonna to touch on later. The trap itself is just over six inches front to back with an opening just shy of three inches in diameter, which means it should be perfect for catching just about any small reef fish like gobies, blennies, clowns, damsels, wrasses, antheas, pygmy angels, sub-adult tangs, and the list goes on. But it's definitely not big enough for adult tangs, rabbit or fox face, or large angel species, groupers, etc., which is important to keep in mind. The magnets on this trap are quite strong and they're gonna hold the trap firmly on glass up to 5 eighths of an inch thick, which should be plenty for the average reef aquarium. How it works is pretty simple. Mount the trap inside of the tank, not too far from the surface. Use the magnet to hold it in place. Pipette some food into the port at the top. Wait for the fish of your choice to enter the trap. Pull the magnet off and you can remove the fish from the aquarium. But that's a super quick rundown based in a perfect world where everything comes together perfectly. And since fish tend to have minds of their own and seem to prefer to frustrate us to no end, yeah, I'm looking at you, Cherub Angel. Here are some tips and tricks that can help make your fish trapping endeavors even more successful, specifically with this one. In order to get your fish comfortable with the trap, it's a really good idea to leave it in the tank for a few days and feed exclusively through that little hatch at the top of the trap. This way, your fish will associate the trap with food and won't fear it. If the target fish you're after prefers moving prey, it can also be helpful to make sure that the food inside the trap is also moving. And you can do that by using the pipette to blow the food around once it's inside of the trap to try to entice that fish of your choice to come in and have a bite. On the flip side, if the food inside of the trap is moving around way too chaotically or too much or is getting blown out of the trap, you can turn off the flow pumps in your tank while you're using the trap so that the food settles down a bit more and the fish of your choice might actually want to go in and have a bite. If the fish you're trying to target happens to be very skittish and doesn't like to come out when you're standing next to the tank, at the back of the magnet, there is a little loop so you can tie on a piece of rope or fishing line. That way you can stand further away from the tank and still be able to remove the magnet when the fish goes in so that you can catch it. It's also really important to make sure with small and fast fish that they are all the way inside of the trap before you remove the magnet to release it. If they're just in the entrance, they may get that second chance to just dart out before the trap turns and brings them to the surface. And naturally, if you have some boisterous fish that seem to just always want to be inside the trap when you feed there, not really giving the fish you want to remove a chance to get in, then you may actually just have to remove that fish from the tank temporarily with the trap and then get the trap back in there and catch the fish of your choice. Tangs, rabbit fish, stuff like that, even clowns, they tend to not be afraid of these things and just go inside and eat. And if you're trying to get a small wrasse out of the tank, you can see the problem. if They're just dominating the trap all the time. Once you've caught and removed your fish of choice and you're ready to put this trap into storage, you're just gonna wanna give it a quick rinse in tap water, get any food or algae out of it, get any uh, salt creep off of it, and then just dry it off with a towel before you put it away. And then once it's dry, it's good to go. Now, if you happen to have to leave it in the tank long enough that it built up with some calcareous algae or coralline, you can go ahead and give it a quick citric acid bath, then rinse it off, give it a wipe down, and it's ready to go into storage. So if you've been wanting to get that one little pain in the tush fish out of your tank, 
Now you've got a good way to do it without tearing the whole tank apart. So if you'd like to, you can check out the NIOS fish trap by clicking right here. 